new film is here, I always get work. And even this year, I just finished that work on the last year. Under Roy's editorial eye, his discerning judgment, I learned so much as an artist. He must have seen something in me because by getting me to ink solid pencil work, like Ernie Chan, or to see top professionals inking over my work and improving my rookie drawing skills without actually changing the overall work, I grew and improved. The best kind of on-the-job training. It's what they used to do in the old days. They would use an apprentice for another artist. Though so still a rookie with rough edges, I was on my way and I had Roy to thank for that. Even better along the way, we became friends. And then we hung out Unlike a lot of industry professionals I knew at the time, Roy wasn't bitter or angry about his work. He always was eager to share and engage with stories about the business as well as the history of the show. <coughs> Not many saw our grace for Roy. It was also a pleasure at that time to meet Dan, because I was around luckily when she entered. I did, went back into animation for a while, but Roy, when he went over to DC, did his best to get me in the door. And the roadblock of Joe Orlando and Vince Valletta was stuck together. I remember they just flatly didn't like me. But finally, Roy got me in. I wasn't working for you initially. I was working for Len Wein. I remember you got me a job working for Tim O'Brien and Bolt. And the door opened, and for years after that, I had regular work with DC. The highlight of which was my collaboration with Roy. I finally got to work with him on a regular series that he was writing, and I was getting to draw. And I was getting to draw all the heroes and heroines of the Chester Society in the World War II era, era an era that I just loved, from movies and Not everybody would thank me for that. Well, they may not. <laughs> and here I was working with the best writer in comics. Roy got me there, and he was able to help me build and create my own success. So it all worked out, and here I am 40 years later ready to retire from my career. My journey is near completion, and it's turned out to be a professional story that I'm pretty happy So Roy's not a superhero, and he's not some barbarian warrior or Jedi. He's a normal guy, human being, <coughs> who when given the chance to do good work, made it great. I mean, given the chance to help a rookie, he stepped up. My point is, Roy is one of them. Given a chance to help those he saw, those he saw promise in, he held a hand out. He helped them up a couple of runs up, up that ladder to success, but he knew that they had to find the rest of the way on their own, to take the responsibility and the courage to climb their own way to the top. Educated by Roy's example, I've taken the opportunity to help others as well. Those who I knew had what it takes took and had that fire in their belly. They've gone on success in animation, comics, and gaming. All of these people have been benefactors of the kindness that Roy showed to me. They are a part of a legacy that probably goes back to the people who helped Roy. It isn't often in life that one gets to thank someone who has changed their fortunes and their future. You'll have to forgive them. That's just something that He's someone who is impacted and it was resonated throughout my career and has made my life better. Roy is that kind of person and it's a great honor to have a moment to speak about him and what he's with me. So thanks Roy. Thanks for entertaining us with your gift of writing award winning comics, of creating wonderful characters, and for being one of the foremost historians of me. Thanks for the Avengers. Thanks for Star Wars. Thanks for the breaks and for giving me the confidence to succeed. Thanks for being one of the good guys. And thanks for being my friend. That was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wish I had known my pleasure, Mark. more details about you and Roy. Uh, that was all really fascinating. If, I, if I'd known more, my my introduction of you would have been so much better. <laughs> we had to get out of Larry to work from, you know. No, no. So if you're if you're uh, following your program.